In less than an hour, community members will gather to hold a vigil in honor of little Taylor Rose Williams. The five-year-old's remains were found in a wooded area of Alabama last month. Her mother, Brianna Williams, reported her missing in early November from their Brentwood home. Tonight, Brianna Williams sits in jail, charged with three felonies, including two counts of child neglect and one of lying to law enforcement officers. On your side's Kaylee Tracy is live in Arlington, where the group Safe Haven of Northeast Florida is setting up that vigil for little Taylor. Kaylee. Yeah, Jeff, you can see behind me here, they've set up some chairs, a table with candles and a television there that will have pictures of little Taylor here tonight at that vigil starting at 7 p.m. And now those with Safe Haven say it's a group that's committed to protecting children from abuse and the CEO of Safe Haven, Kathy Swafford, says by holding vigils like this one, children like Taylor are not just another number. They're remembered with a name and an identity. She expects some members from Mayor Lenny Curry's Victims Advisory Council, some of the detectives on the Taylor Williams case, and possibly some Jacksonville City Council members to be here tonight, as well as community members. Swafford says the group has held vig vigils in the past for several children and that they all leave their mark on her. These become personal to me because these are children that didn't get to live to their potential. We don't know what they could have been. Doctors, lawyers, dentists, we don't know because they didn't get that chance. And my question is, why do we keep putting up with it? Why do these children keep getting death sentences? Brianna Williams' first court appearance is set for December 18th. And if you want to come out here tonight, they will have candles available for you. Again, that address here, 6108 Arlington Road in Arlington is right outside that safe haven building here. We're outside on that back patio. Again, that starts at 7 p.m. For now, reporting live in Arlington, Kaylee Tracy, First Coast News on your side.